In this video, we will talk about translational and rotational motions. A solid is said to be in translational motion if any vector joining two points in the solid stays in the same direction during its motion. In a translational motion, all the particles in the same solid have the same velocity at the same instant. For example, in the figure, a green vector is drawn in such a way as to overlap one of the seat stays of the bike. When the bike moves, the green vector stays in the same direction during its motion. The motion of the solid, which in this case we define as the bike without its wheels, is an example of what we call rectilinear translational motion, since any particle in the solid has a rectilinear motion. The thickest red line represents the rectilinear trajectory of a particle A in the solid in three different positions, A1, A2, and A3. And the two other red lines also show the rectilinear trajectories of two other particles in the same solid. This is another example of translational motion where a glass filled to the top is moved from a certain position to another without spilling any liquid. A blue vector is drawn in such a way as to overlap the stem of the glass. When the glass moves, the blue vector stays in the same direction during its motion. The motion of the solid, which in this case is the glass, is an example of what we call curvilinear translational motion since any particle in the solid has a curvilinear motion. The thickest red line represents the curvilinear trajectory of a particle B in the solid in seven different positions, B1 to B7. And the two other red lines also show the curvilinear trajectories of two other particles in the same solid. This is also another example of a translational motion where the cabin of a Ferris wheel is driven by the motion of the wheel. A white vector is drawn in such a way as to overlap the diagonal of one side of the cabin. When the cabin moves, the white vector stays in the same direction during its motion. The motion of the solid, which in this case is the cabin, is an example of what we call circular translational motion since any particle in the solid has a circular motion. The red circle represents the circular trajectory of a particle C in the solid and four different positions C1, C2, C3, and C4. And the yellow circle also shows the curvilinear trajectory of another particle in the same solid. Note that the centers C0 and D0 of these circular trajectories do not belong to the same axis of rotation. A solid, which is the propeller in this case, is said to be in rotational motion about an axis delta if, with respect to delta, all the points of the solid describe circular trajectories which have their centers on delta and which are in planes that are perpendicular to delta. For example, the trajectories of points M and N in the solid are both circular. Their centers are on the same axis of rotation delta, and they are in a three-dimensional space in planes which are perpendicular to delta. In a rotational motion, all the particles of the same solid have the same angular velocity at the same instant. And this is all for this video. Thank you for watching.